Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. In this week's exploration of the solar system, we are going to look at the Pioneer 11 craft and our second journey into the outer solar system, and this time to look at two planets, including Jupiter and Saturn. So here is an artist's conception of what you might see there. And that is the Pioneer 11 craft. And these craft was launched along with Pioneer 10. This was one of the first craft to explore the outer solar system launched in April of 1973. Now it followed a different slightly different path. And we can take a look at that here. And here is the sketch of the path. There we see Pioneer 10 off to the left hand side as it traveled. Pioneer 11 traveled a slightly different path. And you can see if we look very close in here, Pioneer 10 passed by Jupiter and kind of just took a smooth path out to the outer solar system. However, at that time, Saturn was in this section of the solar system. So in order to do that, we can see this kind of a this adjustment that was made. And as it flew by Jupiter, it used Jupiter's gravity to redirect it. So instead of just traveling out as Pioneer 10 did, it kind of looped down and then was able to fly by Saturn a couple few years later. So that allowed it to actually visit two, two planets for the price of one. And that's been used quite a bit. That's what we call a gravity assist to be able to travel elsewhere in the solar system and save on the amount of fuel that would actually be used. Now, it did fly by Jupiter in December of 1974. And we can see that here. Uh, it actually imaged the great red spot as we see, as well as the polar regions of Jupiter for the first time. So the first time we got a chance to look at the polar regions because of the orbit that it took around Jupiter. It was able to see those uh, regions, which normally are not seen very well because they're at really odd angles when you come in in the equatorial plane. Now what it really did was to fly by Saturn and this was after that gravity assist that took it to Saturn and almost five years later it gave us our first view of the planet Saturn and it actually came very close to colliding with the small moon only a few thousand kilometers away a moon that had not been known before but was able to successfully complete its mission. And it did one thing was to travel through the ring plane. Now this was a test. We knew that this craft was not going to be going any place else. Saturn was the final stop for this. And then it would be heading out to the outer solar system. So it was directed through the plane of the rings to see if it was going to be able to survive that. Because the Voyager craft, which was already on its way at this point, was going to have to travel through those rings if we wanted to move it out to other parts of the solar system. So that was kind of a test there. Let's see how this works. So we did get some of our first images here of Saturn, including you can see some of the rings here up close, not just seen from the great distance of Earth. It also imaged the moon Titan. Titan is the large moon of Saturn. And it was determined that it is too cold for life as we know it. Titan is the only moon in the solar system with a significant atmosphere. So we can't actually see the surface of Titan, although we have actually landed a craft that we'll talk about in a future video. So we've actually seen the surface because we've gone through it. We've seen it through radar images. But just to photograph it, it's kind of like photographing Venus. All you're seeing are the clouds. Now, Pioneer 11 continues to travel out beyond the edge of the solar system, although all contact was lost with it by the end of 1995. So again, like Pioneer 10, it's out there and traveling, but we no longer have any kind of communication with the craft. So let's go ahead and summarize a little bit about what we talked about here. 
And the Pioneer 11 spacecraft flew by two planets, Jupiter and Saturn, so gave us multiple planets for just one spacecraft. This is still some of our earliest exploration of the outer solar system and really paved the way for the Voyager craft that will be coming up and looking at in a future discussion here. So that concludes this discussion of the Pioneer 11 spacecraft. We'll be back again next week for another exploration of the solar system. So until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.